I the last one. Almost. Fellow Africans, we have climbers at uh, tour. We are at the governor's residence, as we speak. This big place was for the governor. One person. One person. One person without a wife and children. Look at that place. This is just the living room. Yeah. Living quarters. Yeah. You look around, you can see nine windows in a living room. And look at the breeze. It's one person, nine windows. If you compare to the dungeons, you can tell the story better. So we are going to move to the bedroom. Okay. And continue. So let's see the cabinet bedroom. The So this is the bedroom, governor's bedroom. Bedroom, you can see five windows. So five windows in the bedroom, plus nine in the living room. And there are two here, for just the governor. So the man really, really enjoyed life. The wooden floor we are standing on or walking on, it is not original piece. They use wood throughout, which were brought all over from England to balance their shops, including the bricks. And we have replaced the wood many times. We have changed the wood and changing it, including windows and doors. But the wood up is original. You can see this is different from this. You know the same. There was no light those days. They used kerosene light and candles. There was no light. It's a recent development. So we are moving out, but after the door, look right, you see governor's wardrobe or the closet. Shut right, it's closet. It's the same family. What if you had to come here in a group with white people and then having to walk around with them like everything is okay? Uh, family, that would be torture for me. Yeah. But uh, when you're rolling with us, family, you don't have to deal with the heartaches and pain like that. You're rolling with your brothers right. and sisters. Let me show you something here before we continue. If you look on the hill, there's a building called Fort William. The white one there. The fort was built by the English when they were here. Soldiers were there. The soldiers were looking from around whether other Europeans were coming to attack them. And they were supported by cannons, so the cannons all over. So they detect attack, they would communicate to the soldiers in the castle through this place, this small room here called communication room. One of the issues to enter is there's a hole there. So soldiers will be there waiting for a signal from the soldiers at the top. So if they get a signal, then they will alert the soldiers here. And that time, this was the barracks for Europeans. The soldiers were here. This was the barracks for the British soldiers. And the mother one was a mess in the kitchen at that time. We can see Elmina Castle from here, the first castle where slave trade started from. If you look that way, you can see the land is curving towards the end of something that that's Elmina Castle. That castle was built 1482 by Portuguese. It is 537 years old as of now. This was built 1665 by English. This is 354 years old. 
and that one is 183 years older than this. So if you are older than somebody 183, I think you are older than the person. Slave and Mamina were taken to Brazil by Portuguese. That took over Sunday to Caribbean, some to Europe. From here they went to North America, some to Europe, some to Caribbean. And Elmina Castle is the first and the biggest European building in sub-Saharan Africa. It's bigger and older than all the castles, including this one. We are going this way, please. Question, what exactly is this built of? The, the, the building, the wall. The wall, bricks. bricks. Look at this, but that is some bricks. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Red bricks and yellow bricks. They were brown for me. These Thank bricks you. and okay. stones. And then they just cover them over yes, with the... Well, this floor is original. This floor is original. This floor is original.